Hey guys, you join me here on Snowman86 and we are on Cattle and Crops. So we have advanced time here to the middle of February roughly. Um, and what we are aiming at here now is we have a mission popped up for seeding maize. So we're going to do this mission. Um, temperatures look right. We have all our field prep done. Um, so this year we're going to be looking at a lot of maize. Um, what else should we do? The cooperative only says maize seeds at the moment. Anyway, our fields have been tilled in time. It's up to you if you want to work to tease yourself or hire a worker for it. So we are going to do the field work ourselves. Um, just I know sometimes it can be a little bit hit and miss. So it's asking us to seed. So we're just going to quickly pick up the dates here and we're going to head down to the dealership. Hopefully there will be a seeder down there for us. Fingers crossed. If not, we'll have to rent one. Um, and we'll see how we go from there. So guys, with that said, we're gonna strike straight down to the dealership and we'll see you down there in a split second. So we have been here to the co-op here. We've just filled up a seed and you may notice we've also filled up with um, phosphate, triple super phosphate to be exact. Um, and the reason for that is our fields that we have spread the manure in or the digestive um, We will be putting down a little bit of phosphate as we were just low on that level so We can We can adjust the the Fertilizer to be either on or off and um, so the plan here is to have it off for the first couple of fields and when we progress onto the rear fields then that we bought and expanded our farm we shall be turning it on for those and bear in mind that field 10 will get no fertilizer at all so that will possibly be the last one we sow so we'll just turn back on our hazard light here so that is the gauge plan going forward guys so we're going to strike back here straight to the farm and we'll do the three to four fields i believe it's four in fact that are around the farm um, that should complete this mission I hope um, although it is saying seed maize in all my fields so we will have to see how that pans out so with that said we're just going to cruise through the village here and I'll meet you back on the farm and we'll get the show on the road so we are at our field here now um, so simply we've unfolded here now we're just going to quickly go into our menus and we want to select this right here and make sure it is running as low as possible just in case we have any mistakes uh, turn seating system so it is registered as on at the moment and if I hit that it should be oh, it's registering it on at the moment but the main thing is the fertilizing system is turned off as if I click that it's on and then that is off so that is the main one we want to set at the moment um, so we'll see how we go we get this first track in and the other thing we'll have to start setting up as well is our GPS or our guidance system. So we're just going to go here slightly on the bank. And we'll make our first sharp turn in. So we want to be somewhat straight to the line. We're not perfect here at the moment. Um, so we're just going to bring up our GPS lines here and we're just going to reset a new track. And I want to see the line to begin with. Working with is 6, we bring it down to 5.6 meters. And we're just going to set the initial track to offset. And this is how we know if we're running a perfect line and we're not quite there yet. So we just need to go a little bit more somewhere there. And then we will just bring it back a degrees. 48 doesn't look too bad there so we'll, we'll attempt that to begin with um, so we're just going to back it up got to close down the menu or kind of locks everything that you have at the moment so So we want to just enable our thing, 
set her GPS up and if we just lower I'm just going to jump out here just to make sure we have lowered so we are seeding and we are not applying any fertilizer so that is exactly what we want and we're probably seeding a little bit faster we're just going to slow it down here 10 miles an hour is probably a bit faster we're just going to go 7.6 on the cr cruise 7.8 that's not a bad speed So we're going to attempt or try our best at least to get as much as we can done. Um, we'll see how we go. I'm not too concerned about the headlands as we possibly will come back to them. So as she straightens up, we'll just drop in here now again. So anything we miss on the headland, we will be coming back and, and kind of catching on a second pass. So I believe our auto steer is working. I don't believe there is a way to tell in the cab is there. Not that I'm aware of in the cab, so it's kind of external. You see the button there in the dash for the steering wheel, and that is what lets you know that you are tracking through with your GPS set. So if that's the case we will go hoodless there and we will just jump straight in here to the tractor side and that way we'll have a good random view of it if I flick this side I should rotate that side I do just gonna try and make the sharp return there So you can see the different textures there in front of us as we go about here, which is a nice touch. We're just going to go Y and we're just going to hide these lines as well just for the extra added sense of realism. And so if we flick around to the side, we should see we're not skipping a whole pile, which is fantastic. And that's the reason why I've shortened down my working weight down by nearly half a meter just to give us that sense that if we do miss anything we will we will pick it up on the other side so just going to So we are pulling there again so we just have a little bit of that headland there just to tidy up which again we would expect so we're not doing bad so the game is looking for as much maze as it can get I believe um, and one thing we'll do here is we'll quickly just jump in here and we'll just set our we want to go to I believe it's a cultivated should show us so if we leave that up that will really show us roughly what we've left on the minimap below so as we make our turn through the bush we'll see where it picks up here on the Odyssey I think we might have skipped one lane there so not the end of the world so as I say there's a lot of features to like about this game and definitely the way the groundwork is done is just one of them really is truly amazing I think it's just it takes the farming series to a new a different level and it's definitely one work to keep an eye on and the tracks there to our left are from when we were spreading manure so they are still set out there 
and I believe they might have been also the same tracks then we reused again for um, when we were spreading the phosphate on this because this ground had phosphate already spread never thought that we could use the cedar until afterwards so it was a bit of an afterthought on my side so we're going to try and make this sharp turn here hopefully we can And the one thing about this game is that it is kind of supporting mods or allowing the modding community in. So once we get a final release and version that people can work off of, there is mods already out there for this game. But as they update, sometimes the older mods then need to be updated to the next base of the game. Um, so for some odd reason, our dog is here in the field. So Roxy over there just fancied uh, coming with us. Um, so as I was saying guys, the modding scene should be hopefully fairly active within the game. Um, and again, that will add a nice chunk of detail and realism to us. Oh. And the other side of that then will be the likes of maps and things, lots of good things to come. So we'll wait with bated breath on that and hopefully hopefully the results will be fantastic as we've seen in our series. The modders really do bring a game to life and I think the base that they'll be working off here will be quite something special. So fingers crossed that we were in for a good treat there. So what worries me at the moment is our progress bar hasn't really gone up a whole pile. Now that would slightly concern me. But as if we were only one field in and we possibly only I think it's 10 fields all in. Might take a couple of fields to see how we are doing. And also just so you're aware as well guys, we did have to rent the cedar, the Hammer King unit there. Um, did not supply us in the game, so we did have to rent that. So Just something else to bear in mind, that when you get to this stage of the game, you really need to start looking at your finances. As I say, the BGA for us was a great help. And hopefully it will continue to do so. Um, before we advance the time there, as you look back to the last video, I believe our money was down around the 10,000 euro mark. And when we passed the month because we were working the BJ, it jumped us up to a close to 45,000, I believe it was. And between buying seed, fertilizer, and renting the cedar, we've spent about 5,000. So it just shows you the potential here for making money off that BG is quite high. On left, stay north it in the coming updates. Just once we get in past the field line, we will drop our cedar in. One thing to note there is we are true down to 70% already on our seed, and that is just after planting field 16. 
so I'd imagine we will be refilling with seed as we go and I'd imagine once we start burning into the fertilizer we'll be putting it out I'm going to estimate around the 400 mark and hopefully that's enough um, it might be even too much we'll see how we go a little bit of trial and error involved in this so we're just going to turn right here now and complete the headland just going to go around these couple of little saplings here that's the one thing I would like to see is maybe a slightly larger field um, obviously the bigger field would it's a bit hard turning all this gear around in the smaller fields so that's where I do think a bigger field would have it, the distinct advantage of you be able to maybe stick more so to the field boundaries and stuff so Gonna quickly shoot behind, make sure we're catching everything. I think we are. Just gonna slow her down. She's running away in us. Somewhere up here, we'll probably have to drop in again. We're just going to enable our cruise control again, and away we go. We just want to catch the edge of this strip here. And then we will turn, catch the headland, and we have one field complete. And that's the one thing with this as well, you've got to make sure that trail unit um, gets over the whole area. If it doesn't, you end up with areas that are just cultivated and not actually seeded. So you've got to make sure the whole seed unit kind of passes that area. So that's where you really kind of got to be dropping it in as the tractor hits it, just to make sure you're maximizing the area that you are working at the same time. Um, you see here what I was lifting, I was lifting early and the cedar would have been out of the ground at that stage and not finished the field. So again we got to make sure we get as much out of the field as we can. So now we're just going to shoot across the road here, we're going to catch field 14 I believe it is, the one right adjacent to the yard. And then we have two more to do after that, we do have a slight nudge on our on our um, counter as well, so that's a good sign. So we want to get ourselves set up as close as we can to the field edge again. And again we're looking for the same thing, set our GPS up and track a new line so we're just going to again bring up our gps we'll highlight our lines hit new and this time we just need to bring it a fraction this way and we're going to say if we drop the six loop nope, gotta be going to eight eighty eight maybe it's eighty seven point eight We're going to go with 87.6, keep the same working weight, um, and again this should be us away, so we're just going to quickly use our keyboard to touch the keys, so we enable our GPS that works. Um, we're going to get ourselves rolling, and again we're dropping the whole unit into the ground, 
and we're away. So this is the goal going forward guys, we are attempting we are attempting to seed as much as we can here. Um, as I say, some of this might be done off screen or dare I say we might attempt a live stream at some stage but don't hold me to it, still working out a couple of issues on my end before that even becomes a uh, possibility. You need to do a couple more tests just to make sure that we can actually carry a good stream. So we're going to be stuck here by the fence, it's going to dictate a lot. I'm just going to drop in there again. One thing I've noticed as well is the cruise control is a lot better at holding your speed going down the hill used to be before that if you did engage you'd still need to be applying brake going down hills um, now whether that is mainly because I'm pulling something through the ground which is giving me more resistance which is possibly the case so our goal here is to plant everything in maize hopefully we will have enough that we can feed our cattle and sell also to the BGA um, if we can fill one silo at the farm we'd be delighted we do have one currently going there at the moment so we'll get a fair idea of what it is or how much we actually need we're just going to drive here on our own fields but we will be coming back to turn it in in a second um, hopefully we have a fair idea of how much we actually need to use um, as I say we do have I think it's close to 250 liters left we just quickly double check it and uh, if we go here to our finance screen and tanker and trader our farm silo we've just over 200,000 liters of chaff left and we are already in February so they probably will run dry um, I'm hoping they don't if they do it might become an issue where we might need to sell a few um, and we do have a couple that was will be our plan anyway we get to June is to sell a few more cattle just to again keep the income coming into our farm just going to go around this tree as many people although the route I've taken there now is clearly going to butcher the tree but So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, we do have 40 head of cattle, um, so 210 litres, middle of February, is it enough to carry us through the winter months? Not has been sure, um, as I say, once you do cut maize, it will take the bones of 2-3 to three months to ferment, so you really need to be working a good bit ahead of yourself. Also the possibility there would be to use hay as you can cut grass four times a year so we might plant one field with grass that we can just keep coming back to and cutting um, but that again is all for things to be considered down the line and we'd have to invest in a lot of grass equipment and stuff just to get ourselves on the road with the grass gear so we'll have to see how that goes as well
I do like how the freshly sewed texture is that little bit darker just again it would be in real life as you turn that around and kind of and it has dried on top you will be turning it back to kind of a wet look and that's what we get here which is a nice nice touch so we're getting down to 50 percent in tank capacity do a hard turn through the tree as you would and try and get back into track for this one so as I say a little bit difficult sometimes with field sizes and where things are positioned but again everything has to be remembered early access and um, would be nice if the trees had collisions um, at the moment I believe you can drive through everything that's um, visible on the map apart from buildings so eventually trees having collisions and even hedgerows and stuff would be a nice touch um, it just basically you can just keep adding and adding to it it can only get better that's what we got to remember it can only get better so we've two headlands here to do on this field now as well So we're just going to go external here for the very end and you can just kind of get an overall appreciation of it again we will dispose of our HUD and we will just go with this now I don't know what is as noticeable to you but if we zoom in here you will see that the front cultivator is actually cultivating as it's removing the tractor or track except for just there it's not doing it there now how convenient um, but the front row does actually have a separate cultivating function on it so again the one thing I have noticed is you cannot use the seed units separate you cannot use the seed units separate from the um, the corn or the cultivating section the, the uh, what's it called the hammer king section part of it unfortunately the um, the seed units at the back I thought you could but unfortunately it doesn't the way it works it's all driven through the seed unit so at the moment I believe there is no other way of seeding um, or we don't have a dedicated cedar unit that is just solely a cedar unit out of direct drill going to split the trees here even though I don't think we're, we would fit through naturally so we are nearly out of field 14 here now
So we have two more passes and then we have two head ends through. The other feature that I would really appreciate in this would also be the ability to merge fields. Um, it would be nice if we were able to plow up areas in between fields. But again, that's more so maybe on a future wish list. Um, not for the here and now. We're just going to make one, two last turns. And I think what we will do in the next field as well is just widen our track. Um, I think we may be brought in a bit too much. Just going to finish off this one here. Um, just this top headland, and we'll be away then again. We'll see how we are for seed level. Still doing okay. We're getting close to turning point, which is unfortunately in the kind of wilderness. So going to kind of get lined up. I don't think we're going to be able to do this as neatly as you would like. Oh, we're not doing too bad. And the one thing to note about all this, if we just um, jump out quickly again to an overview, you will see the ground again has changed direction, so we are pulling, everything is kind of pulling with the seed unit as it should. Oh. Although what I've noticed there is it's not reseeding the area. That is interesting. Just going to run a quick test here. It doesn't seem to be reseeding the area that we already seeded. I thought it would, or it should. Um, I think once it recognizes the area is seeded, that's it. So we're just going to test it on this strip going down here. We can run right over, and we see do our seed lines directions change. And on this they do. So, not sure. As I say, there's possibly still a couple of bugs here and stuff to be worked out. Um, but what we have at the moment is definitely playable, and we are going to try our best to do that here in this series. there so just going to get up here and we've one more pass through along the bottom here
So as we continue on here to field, I believe it is 13 here and 15 is across the way or vice versa. Um, I think we will call it a day on that one, guys. Um, we're just going to keep progressing and see how we go. We have to f seed all of them, so it's going to take a chunk of time. But as I say, we'll see. It'll be a part two video or we might attempt a live stream. We'll see how it goes. As I say, a couple things to work on my side before we get there. So again, don't quote me on it. Um, so for now, guys, this is being cat in the crops as we drive through a bush or several of them. Um, I've been Snowman86 guys and I hope you've enjoyed watching if you have please leave a like or leave a comment if you want to see something Or some feature in the game that you think is there that you're just not 100% sure of um, Let us know in the comments and we will do our best to answer them Okay guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next one. Take care